Alright, so I'm back with another episode of My Gaming Diary. It sounds like you guys really like the idea. And I'm going to answer a few questions today. I'm going to talk about what I was playing. I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. So some of the questions I got were in reference to the Nintendo 3DS. So I thought I would answer these first. I am going to pick up a Nintendo 3DS at launch. I'm going to pick up the Cosmos Black version. And the two games that I'm going to pick up with it are Pilot Wings Resort and Steel Diver for the 3DS. Um, both titles I'm actually very excited about. Shigeru Miyamoto, um, the grandfather of Mario, or the father of Mario, whatever you want to call him, um, one of my favorite game designers, actually designed both of these games. And Steel Diver is off of a um, concept that he's had for quite some time. In fact, it's similar to a game that he released for the original Game Boy back in the day. So I'm really excited to check it out because he said it's the first time that this actual game has come to light in the 3D aspect, and it really made it playable. For those that don't remember, when the Nintendo DS launched, there was actually a Steel Diver demo at that time, but we never saw the game release. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, one thing that does make me sad, though, and I've talked a little bit about this with some other people, is the Nintendo DS, like as we know it now, is coming to an end. Um, I picked up Pokemon White. I'll show that to you here. This week, I had it pre-ordered. And I have one more game left to pick up for the Nintendo DS for this year. And I think that'll probably be it. And it makes me sad in a way, because I've been collecting for the system for quite some time and playing lots of games on it. And I really, really, really do enjoy the Nintendo DS. I'm happy that we're still going to have the Nintendo 3DS, but to have it come to a close at this point actually makes me really sad. So, yay 3DS, boo to uh, the Nintendo DS going out. One of the other questions I got was actually from a friend of mine, Mason Sushi. And I've already talked about how I'm only going to pick up 15 games for this year that I'm actually going to buy for myself. Now, Pilot Wings Resort is a freebie because it's with my pre-order. And I've had a couple other freebies this year. I had Ghost Trick that I picked up using some store points. Two more that I got in a trade. Final Fantasy 3 for the Super Nintendo. Now, this is actually Final Fantasy 6. Um, this took me forever to find. I traded uh, something for this. Another Super Nintendo game that's pretty rare, and a PS3 game that I'm getting ready to show you. So I didn't actually buy them, but uh, Final Fantasy 3. And then the PS3 game that was in the trade is this one here, Final Fantasy 13. And I've heard mixed reviews about this, but I want to play it for myself. Um, I've always enjoyed this series, so I'm pretty happy to check it out. My expectations are a little bit lower than um, people who played it at launch, so I'm hoping that I will enjoy it. But uh, I am excited to check that out. And now on to the list of the Fab 15. And that's what I'm calling them because they're the 15 games that I'm actually going to go out of my way to pick up this year. I really feel like in doing my YouTube channel and over the last couple of years, my spending on video games has really gotten out of control. And it's really easy for me to do because if I see something I want, I want it. Who doesn't? But um, I really wanted to claw it back and say to myself, no, you know what, you had a new system release this year and you were very good and I wanted to play each of the games that I picked up and I found that in picking up a lot of games that wasn't happening I was shelving a lot of games that I didn't want to shelf so I'm going to talk to you about this now one of the first questions is, is has this list changed and uh, here's all the revisions here this list has changed so many times I don't think I can keep track and I'm not even sure this is going to be the final list show you first the games that I've already picked up this year first one let me do this properly here, is Alleyway for the Game Boy. Um, I really love the Game Boy and I love collecting for it and this is one of the games that I didn't have that I wanted to have. Second one that I picked up was Little Big Planet 2 for the PSP and I got the Collector's Edition which was pretty cool. Very awesome game, we've already completed it. Alleyway you can't really complete it, it's like Breakout or at least I haven't, but I've played a lot of it. And the third one is also a Game Boy game, and that is Bonk's Revenge for the Game Boy. Kind of difficult to come by, actually, but um, I wanted to have that for my Game Boy collection. The fourth game was Dragon Quest VI. Really awesome game. I haven't had a chance to play this, though, which is something that I want to do. I'm going to play it as soon as I'm done with the game that I'm playing now, which is my fifth game, and that is Pokemon White and very very happy to have this. I'm five hours into it. Um, the sky bridge in it is beautiful. I really like what they've done with the environments and I will do a review on this once I'm completed. So those are the games that are on the Fab 15 list and I'm going to read to you the other 
possible contenders. And like I said, this is changing, so I don't know what's up. Number six is Okamiden for the Nintendo DS. That'll actually be the last Nintendo DS game I pick up. Uh, number seven is Steel Diver for the 3DS. Number eight is WWE All-Stars for the PS3. Number nine, Zelda Ocarina of Time, if that game ever comes out. Number 10, Kid Icarus Uprising for the 3DS. Number 11, uh, currently called Paper Mario for the Nintendo 3DS. Number 12, Mega Man Legends for the Nintendo 3DS, or Mega Man Legends 3. Uh, 13, Mario Kart for the 3DS. 14, Star Fox for the Nintendo 3DS. And 15, uh, Skyward Sword, The Legend of Zelda for the Wii. Right now, that's what's on my list. I can see some of those changing, but uh, that's what I have right now. So maybe by the end of the year, we'll compare it to this video. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to post my Super Nintendo collection as my next video. And if you have any questions for me, post them in the comments below, and I'll get to answering them on the next video.